Now, what about uh, people that say sex is a spiritual thing and uh, you have soul ties when you have sex? Um, you do. But as a goddess, I decide what ties stay with me and what ties do not. I am in control of what sticks and what doesn't. Um, and I, I, you can't have it both ways. You are either in control of yourself and what stays with you and what doesn't. Because, yeah, you have sex with this guy, and if he ejaculates in you and all the people he's had sex with, I'm like, be gone. <laughs> I'm done. Sage the pussy. I'm like, whatever it takes, you know? Just nothing stays with me that I do not wish to stay with me, you know? And maybe you might enjoy those soul ties with the people he's been with in the past. Maybe he, maybe he learned a few things, you know? So... Sex is spiritual. Like I said, you can manifest through orgasms. I mean, God is in the orgasms, my girlfriend always says. God is in the orgasms. So, you know, there are only four, five of us, five animals on the planet that have sex for just the purpose of pleasure, right? There's humans, there's dolphins, there's bonobos, and chimpanzees. I think the four. I think they're, they're, they're discovering one other, but I don't remember what it is. But there's four for sure. You're telling us. <laughs> yeah, there's four for sure that we only have sex. We can, we can have sex just for the purpose of pleasure. Most every other animal on this planet is operating by instinct, right? So it's like, oh, it's June. You get this pussy now or it's mating season or you got to wait till December. Right. <laughs> you get it now or you just so well. But we can decide to have sex with who we want, love who we want, mm -hmm. live where we want.